Do you ever wonder how people are capable of defending two completely contradictory beliefs, ignoring evidence that is right under their noses, or sidestepping almost any serious challenge to their opinions? Well, here's one possible explanation. They may be in the grips of ideological thinking. The ideologue does not think in order to uncover the truth. Rather, he accepts a prepackaged truth that will do his thinking for him. To think ideologically is to be uncritically committed to some worldview and to defend it to the hilt, even if this means discounting, ignoring, or falsifying evidence, or tripping oneself up in contradictions. The ideologue clings desperately to unexamined beliefs because they make him feel better about himself, give him a sense of belonging, make him feel righteous, or make him feel safe or secure. For example, a slaveholder holds the unexamined belief that blacks are inferior to whites, making him feel better about his lifestyle. The Nazi accepts the belief that Jews deserve to be cast out of polite society because that provides cover for his anti-Semitic behavior. The independent thinker does not cling to whatever belief happens to be popular or believe every piece of propaganda he hears from some authority figure. Rather, he is willing to take real risks to unveil the truth and scratch beneath appearances. It was independent, non-ideological thinkers who refused cushy academic positions in Nazi Germany, who illegally concealed Jews from their persecutors, and who joined the abolitionist cause when slavery was viewed as socially acceptable. Today, more than ever, we need more non-ideological, independent thinkers.